Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about Ember Sword and how you can get early access for the closed beta for this game. Now, if you have been with the channel for about three years, you probably remember I'm doing a live trying to buy the lane Ember Sword. It was very difficult. A lot of people was very interested. The interest for the lanes on the game was very hot at the time. And they sold out very quickly. Now, I remember it wasn't the greatest experience I ever had. They had a map where you could select the lane. And uh, it was showing that it was lane available. Uh, but wouldn't tell you where. And I would be clicking all over the map. Some of you guys were helping me to try to find the lane. And in the end, we didn't get any lane. But I was very excited. And now I'm even more excited because the game is finally coming out after three years of waiting. Now, I think the team learned a lot through this process and they did change a lot of things. So I'm very excited to go ahead and try this new game with you guys. Now, as far as I know, they developed the game in Unity and they tossed everything away and they built their own game engine and built the how game on top of it. So the game can be very flexible and I'm going to show you some footage of the game and I'm going to show you where you can find everything that you need to know. However, what I think is cool is that with their own engine, they are not limited to anything. They can build whatever they want because they have built it from the ground up. So this is the first game I think I know on Immutable X that actually built its own game engine to build the game. Now, a lot of people is complaining about the graphics and I must say the graphics are not the best at the moment, but the graphics is the easiest thing to change. Normally when we create a game, we use cube and spheres and circles to, to show things that we want to see and then we go ahead and plug out the different arts so it's not hard to change the character on the game at the moment for this actual character they already have here and the game on Unity was looking very good so I believe they already have the art so I don't know exactly why the game has this I want to call inferior art at the moment however that is very easy to fix so if you don't know about the game I'm going to quickly show you some details, but I actually want to talk about on this game how you can participate it on the closed beta. So at the moment, the game has two NFTs, the lanes, so you can find all the details here of the lanes, what the, what the different lanes are and what they give you. So you have three different kind of lanes here. There is also the badge that you can get it and both will give you access to this game now the game is on immutable x what i think is really cool i have been in love with immutable x it's so easy you don't need to sign transactions you just sign the game and then everything happens behind the scenes and is amazing so i'm trying to find the best games on immutable x and bring it to you and of course i couldn't miss amber sword now let's go ahead and look on the discord so like i said they are launching the game very soon there is all the details here on the Discord. I'm gonna go quickly and show you what the options are and what you can do and what you can expect it. So the first way to participate it is to have Amber Sword Lane. So like I said, any of the four types of lane you can get it. Now the second one is to hold or to have burned Amber badge. So those are the badges. You can burn them for the Amber token. So and on top of this, I think you're gonna get other benefits as well. So if you get the badge you're gonna end up getting the token as well plus some other benefits and finally you have the option to hold 5000 amber tokens and we're gonna see the cost of each one of those and the last way to do is to be accepted in the creators program and hopefully we're gonna be accepted on this program so we can bring some content for this game for you now this is gonna be a early access it's gonna be a closed access so we are expecting to have bugs we're expecting to have downtimes and so on now they say that you are going to be able to use the nfts and also to use the amber token from start so i expected the progress on this game to be kept because you're going to be putting real tokens here and real nfts so hopefully if you level up your nfts and if you get some tokens or if you expand some tokens to do something that is going to be reflected when the game actually come out now, I didn't find any way that it actually say that this will be the case. However, I would expect that to be the case. Now, it also says that the game is going to be open on a certain area. So not the how game is going to be open for the public now, but it's going to be a specific area. 
Now they also talk here about how they want people to provide feedback. So if you are able to get to the playtest, jump into the Discord and and give them the feedback or what you think is wrong, what you think they can improve. So if you find some bug, where you find the bug so they can go ahead and fix it. So like I said, there is a lot of videos about the game and you can come here and play them and see what the game is going to look like and see if you are interested in start playing this game. Now, I need to say I'm very excited because they are building this game from the ground up. So I see here that they will have no limit in what they can create it. Now, there are also some details about the combat about the world, about the character system, how you create it, what's on the blockchain and so on. So come here and check it out. Now, like I said, they have the creative program already on. So I'm planning to apply to this and see if I can bring some more content for you guys and hopefully some giveaways as well. Now, like I said, if you want to, to see more, you can actually jump to the YouTube channel where they have a lot of videos about the game. They also explain how the crafting work this game is going to have crafting you're going to be able to go and collect it wood and collect stones and create your own equipment so it looks very exciting and i hope i can cover that in more details with you guys in other videos now let's see what you need to actually do to participate in the game so the first option is to get a lane so the cheapest lane at the moment is about 139 dollars now this is actually a lot higher from what was especially if you look into the Ethereum price, because the Ethereum dropped on the last couple of days. Now, the lanes were going, when I was looking to buy this, we're going for 0.01 Ethereum. And a while ago, I looked again, it was 0.02, and now it's 0.045. So that is very exciting. Now, you need to be sure that you want to get a lane that is very good for you. So you can see here all the different positions of the lanes. So you want to strategize where you want your lane to be. Also, you need to go back to the website and check what the different lanes do. So maybe you wanted to have a lane close to, uh, you know, the center of the map or more on the corner, depending on what your strategy is going to be. But here you can find all the different lanes. You can find all the different locations and you can find all the different varieties and decide what's actually best for you. But if you want to use the lane route to play the close bet, you're gonna expecting to expand 0.45 Ethereum. That would be our cheapest option. Now, like I said, the other one, the cheapest one, I think, is to get the badge. So you can get the bronze badge here for $57 at the moment or 0.018 Ethereum. Now, like I said, you can burn that for some Amber tokens and that also is gonna give you some benefits in the game. You can see here the price of this one is already 41% up. For this one, 19. For this one, 70. And for this one, it's actually down because the price here is just crazy, to be honest. Now, this is on Token Trove. So you can get here for your Immutable X, but you can also get on OpenSea as well. So you're going to find the lanes in the beds here and go ahead and have a look what suits you best. Now, finally, the other option you have is to go ahead and get 5,000 tokens. So the tokens they released just a while back, you can see it had the spike that new tokens always had. It went up all the way to 0.059 cents, almost six cents of dollar. It dropped back for the lowest here about for 0.017 cents of dollar. And now it's hovering about 0.235. So I believe that the token is quite a good price as well because probably when the game starts and people have to start burning the token maybe the price is going to go a little bit up it seems that it finds the bottom here on about two cents so i would believe that the price wouldn't drop much more than this so if we look here for five thousand tokens we're looking for 118 dollars so it seems that the price of the lane and the price of the token are very impaired if you want to go and start by that now, with the tokens, keep in mind, you can always sell it back later and you don't have to pay fees. For the NFTs, you're going to have to pay the royalty fees and the, the marketplace fees. So you're going to be losing some money there if you actually buy and sell for the same price. Or if you buy and sell the token for the same price, you're not losing any money. So if you just wanted to access the game, I would say the best option would be the badge. Maybe the second best option, the token, because then you can go ahead and like I said, we sell the token. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you are planning 
to participate the close beta, please share and like this video. I really need your help here and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.